Hey everybody, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is going to be your reading for Monday, October 21st. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please bring through the messages for the people that need them the most. For Monday, October 21st, 2019. For the collective, for the people that will be drawn to watching this reading, the people who will be guided here, please send through the most important messages for the people that need them the most. Again, it's for tomorrow, which is Monday. Okay, what do we need to know the most? Okay, for the people that will watch this reading, what do they need to know, Spirit, please? What's most important for them to know? Oops, nope, nope, so sorry, guys. It's really early in the morning. <laughs> what else do they need to know, please? Beautiful. Little well, cycle ending here. Big cycle ending. Okay, what else is important? This is good. This is good, guys. You got the world in the Knight of Wands. And then a cycle. Forward movement. Nice. What else, Spirit? Send through more messages for Monday. What else should people that will be guided to watch this reading, what else should they know, please? Gorgeous. Queen of Swords. Beautiful. In the upright. Nice, guys. What else, Spirit? Send through whatever else is important for them to know, please. Oops. I just wanted to. Nice. Coming out of that Three of Swords. Nice, nice, nice. What else, Spirit, please? Nope. Too many. Just one or two. we go. Oops, still got that devil energy though, guys. But the reading looks beautiful. Okay. What else is important for them to know, Spirit, please? Especially with having this devil here, what do they need to know? Nope, way too many. Just one or two cards at a time, please. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that one was sticking out for me to grab. What else? Anything else? Two more. Two more cards, please, for the collective. For Monday, for tomorrow. Oh my god, guys, this reading is gorgeous. Except for the devil. That's okay, though. Alright, why is the Seven of Swords here? So your devil and Seven of Swords is still here, guys. I don't like that. I spoke too soon. Alright, guys. The reading is really nice, except you have the Devil and, ugh, the Seven of Swords. I'm worried about those. Other than that, you do have the um, Reverse Emperor at the bottom of your deck, so this could be your issue. Wow. All right, nice. Okay. So what we have here is the Fool. So someone is taking a leap of faith here. Someone is literally going to step off that cliff. See the toe? It's getting ready. You are getting ready to do this. Strength card. It's going to take some strength. Look. It's, it takes strength to take that leap, right? Something big. This is big because it's going to close a big cycle for you. It's going to complete a big cycle for you. This is graduation day. Right at the it's first card in your reading. First card in your actual reading is closing out this huge cycle, taking a leap of faith, and having the strength to do it. We do have the emperor in reverse. So for men... You're doing it because you're not happy. For women, you're dealing with a reverse emperor who is toxic with the devil, and he's done some sneaky, shady things. So um, you're taking this leap of faith, and it's going to take some strength, but you're going to close that cycle out. You're going to complete it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so three of swords came out, but it came out reverse. So you're healing from whatever this person did. The Seven of Swords thing that the that the devil person did. All right, now, for some of you, this can be an energy, so keep that in mind. 
So you'll know better than anyone with what's going on in your reading. Um, all right, so we're graduating a big cycle. This could have been months long. This could have been years long. This could have been years and years and years long. Whatever it is, you're taking the risk. You're doing it. I'm going to leave these. Um, I'm going to leave these three cards out here. That's your emperor in reverse, and the reason why you're going to take the risk, the strength to take the risk to end a big cycle, to close it out. You're going to start a brand new one. This is really nice. All right, so. Yeah, there's some rough energy because you were dealing with an emperor reversed. The minute you take this risk and complete the cycle, these two should go away unless you stay in touch with this person or with this energy. I really do feel like this is a person because of the emperor in reverse. So for most of you, this is going to be an actual person. Okay, so... You have here the world, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Swords. This is forward movement. You're coming out as the Queen of Swords in your reading. And look at her. I love this card. She looks so pretty. All right, so you are closing out a cycle and moving forward. Cutting people out, cutting situations out. Hopefully the Queen of Swords is cutting out the Devil and the Seven of Swords energy. See how they're all in a row? And that's really what's needed here. That's the risk that you need to take to cut out this devil, sneaky, shady stuff going on over here. Now, as you see, we have moving forward with the four, I'm sorry, with the Knight of Wands. We also have the chariot right smack dab in the middle, moving, really moving forward, moving forward, and the Empress, you're coming out as the Empress as well. Wow, guys, this is beautiful. I didn't even see the Empress here. All right. Um really interesting truth cutting people out cutting situations out all this toxic stuff leaving forward movement standing in your empress status this is high vibes some of you have just gotten to such a high vibe that you are not able to connect uh mentally emotionally with your um, toxic partner anymore <coughs> excuse me guys so what's happened here is some of you have really gotten to such a high vibration that um, you're karmic and you are not on the same um, vibration anymore. And this is what's triggered you to take the leap and go. All right, so you have the world. You saw that one. You have the three of swords. Saw that one. Look at the six of wands. Beautiful. So when I look at your reading, it's, I'm looking at it differently than I normally do. What I have here is you guys graduating, you know, completing this big cycle, coming out of being hurt, coming out of the pain that you've been through, and um, being victorious and victoriously moving forward. Look at all the cards of moving forward. One, two, three. Knight of Wands, Chariot, and Six of Wands. Beautiful. So, completing a cycle, coming out of the pain that you've been through, healing, victoriously moving forward. Moving forward, moving forward quickly. The Chariot, the Knight of Wands, and the Empress in your Empress high vibrational status here. Queen of Swords, no longer dealing with toxic situations and toxic people. Bam, bam, bam. I mean, beautiful, guys, really. I know that these are harsh energies, but there's a story here that I see that's really nice. All right, let's get on with it and see what happens when we clarify here. There is not much to clarify in this reading. It's so beautiful that there's only a few cards we really got to hit. feel like, you know, the people I'm talking to are going to come out as this Empress and the Queen of Swords. Whatever your um, sun sign is, whatever your moon and rising are, none of that matters. I really, especially when we're doing daily readings, and there's so many of you watching the same reading, what, whoever you are, 
you're coming out as the Queen of Swords. You're coming out as the Empress. You're doing these different things. You're coming out as the Chariot. You're cutting people out. You're cutting toxicity out. You're moving forward. And you're standing tall in your high vibration here. No matter what sign you are. doesn't matter. And for men, too. Like, the men... You're, you know, if you're... Um, watching this and you're a man and you're going, but I'm not the empress. No, but you are making all these moves just like the empress is. If you were the reverse emperor coming out, going through something, you're still coming out with all these positive things happening. Doesn't matter. Some of these are energies. Like I said, the queen of swords energy is someone who's cutting things and people out. It doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're a man. You're still cutting out toxic behaviors and toxic people. All right. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please help me clarify this reading for the collective, for the people that are going to watch it on YouTube for tomorrow. The reading is for tomorrow, Monday, the 21st of October, 2019. All right. Let's look at, um, most of all, the devil. Why is, no, let's look at the um, emperor first. Why is the emperor here in reverse, please? Why is the Emperor in reverse? Oh, yeah, because, look, there was no forward movement. The chariot was in reverse. But right smack dab in the center of your reading, there is. This is an important part of your reading, guys. Always the center card for me is really, really important. So this chariot is so important, and we're getting a double... Like, we're getting a double dose of reality here to tell us this was important because we're being told this is what was happening before. There was no forward movement. This was a problem. So when we look at the emperor in reverse, those of you who are a man or coming out as an emperor in reverse or who didn't take control, sometimes the emperor is an energy for me. An, em an emperor takes control of a situation, right? This is a perfect example of the energy of the emperor where someone's not taking control of a situation. With the chariot in reverse, this can seriously just be that you were not taking control of your situation because you needed the strength to be able to do it, and you have it now. So the leap of faith, the strength you're building up to take this leap of faith, and this all turns around, and you take control. And it looks like you absolutely do it as you step into the the reading okay um yeah and you were blocking yourself off you were keeping people at bay you were not you were defending yourself seven of wands is all about nope don't come near me don't touch me stay away blocking 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 all right and it could be very defensive you could have been very defensive all right so let's look at the devil why is the devil here please for tomorrow's reading why is the devil here that's too many. Just one or two. That Ten of Swords was on top, though. Um, just one or two, please, for the devil. Why is it here? Oop, too many. Just one or two cards for the devil, please. There it is. The High Priestess in reverse. Okay, so someone was not using their intuition and secrets probably came out with the devil here. I want one more. Can I have one more on the devil, please? One more on the devil. Too many. Just one or two, please. The devil. Eight of Wands reversed, not moving forward. All right, a lot of this reading, honestly, guys, is all about the moves you weren't making. You weren't using your intuition. You were not moving forward. All of this spells not taking control, not moving forward. 
in the past you were not moving forward it literally became a toxic addiction for you to stay in your shell and not move forward honestly i feel like that's what this reading's about let me look at the seven of swords i mean i do feel like you were hurt and that's why but i feel like the hurt was a long time ago let's look at the seven of swords why is the seven of swords here please for the collective for monday tomorrow for tomorrow's reading, why is the Seven of Swords here in reverse? Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands on their side. All right. Queen of Swords, Ace of Wands, they're your challenge. When they come out on this side, they're a challenge. You were not cutting things out. You were not. The Queen of Swords gets to the bottom of the truth and she cuts out the people, places, things that have hurt her. She cuts out things that are not for her highest good. And the Ace of Wands, the brand new beginning that's needed here. This was all about you. This whole reading's about you. It's about the fact that you were stuck. You weren't using your intuition. You weren't listening to your spirit guides and angels. You weren't listening to them telling you what you needed to do. You refused to move forward. You wouldn't go get your new beginning. It's here. Ace of Wands is sitting on the table waiting for you. But you wouldn't be the Queen of Swords in the upright. You have been ha having a hard time getting to it because this is a challenge. So in the past, recent past, you've had a hard time starting a new beginning here. You didn't want to face it. I really feel like you didn't want to face it. All right, so some of you are getting ready to do something that you procrastinated on doing for a long time. Bust in a move, moving for it involves a lot of movement. Move, move, move. You definitely, and like I said, this was all blocked in the past. There was no movement, no movement in the past. The chariot in reverse, the eight of wands in reverse. All right, guys, you are getting ready to bust out of here. Let's look at the Three of Swords reverse. Why is the Three of Swords in reverse here, please, for the collective? Why is it in reverse? Wow, the Three of Swords. Wow. All right, so you were hurt, and now you're healing from it. Same two cards, only the one where you're getting to is healing. So you got really hurt with the Three of Swords, and right now you're healing from it. Um, all right. Let's look at, um, there's not a lot to look at here, guys. Let's look at the Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here, please? Knight of Wands. Hierophant in reverse flew out of the deck, but it didn't come out the, normal, the way I would normally take it. There could have been some kind of canceled contract here. Let's get one more on the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands. Why is it here? Knight of Wands, please. There we go. Judgment in reverse, Eight of Swords. So in the past, you felt really trapped with the Eight of Swords here. And with Judgment in reverse, there's not going to be a reconciliation, especially with the Hierophant in reverse. So we got Judgment and Hierophant both in reverse. This is like no-go. It's a no-go. You were feeling really trapped. You're busting out. This is you busting out of this trap. Whatever was keeping you trapped, you've decided that you're, you're out of here. A lot of you are going through some kind of breakup, whether it's, you know, love, whether it's business, whether it's work, whatever it is that you felt really hurt by, really trapped in, you're busting out of it. All right, there really is not much to look at here, guys. Um, this is just such a nice reading. Let's do some after tower. Let's get on that. See, most importantly, what comes next? <clears throat>
Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please guide us on what comes next in this situation for the collective for tomorrow's reading for Monday, the 21st, 2019. What comes next in this situation, please? What comes next? Oh my gosh, that's that Seven of Swords person. Okay, what else? I think that's you. You're sneaking out of something. What else? What does the collective need to know about for tomorrow's energy for this reading? Very nice. Anything else? What else comes next in this situation? Wow. Oh my goodness. Yep. All right. Well, you're going to bring down the tower, but that's not a bad thing. Okay. Because it's going to help you get to better place. All right. I feel like you are, when you look, these are all cards to me. This is either running away from something from the past or running to something from the past can be either way for you. I feel it's running away. See how I thought that Seven of Swords was you getting away from something? It's like you lit the match and then you left. Like, light the match, throw it behind you, and leave. That's what this looks like to me. All right, so you are definitely boogieing from something because you're going to be moving forward now. No looking back. See how he's kind of looking back at the tower? That's your last glance. That's his last glance back at the tower as he's leaving it. <coughs> Absolutely. You are prepared for any kind of confrontation. You're prepared to speak the truth and you're prepared to cut people out if you need to. Absolutely forward movement. This is what you've manifested. You worked with the universe and you manifested freedom. See it? That bird represents freedom. You've manifested that. You also manifested forward movement. Really nice, guys. I mean, I know that these are a little bit harsh, and when I look at these, these literally look at like, look at them. Light the match, throw it behind you, and leave. That's what it looks like to me. Wow. All right, let's get you um, some angel advice here. Angels, please send through some advice for the collective. What do they most need to know in this situation? Freedom. That's the freedom. Look. Wait, where is it? Freedom. The bird. Freedom. Courage. Oh my gosh. The courage to do it. Guys, we just talked about that. Your strength card. It's here. It takes strength to take that leap. Whatever this is, this is big for you. And humor. It's time to get some humor back in your life. Some Have some fun. I can't believe freedom and courage. This is look at this your first cards at the bottom of your deck freedom and courage the fool's all about freedom strength is all about courage they're right here god guys i got goosebumps right now wow okay so guys you have to let me know what you're doing here i feel like a lot of people are making a big move and this big move was a long time coming you're getting untrapped, you're getting, you're healing, you're moving forward. Wow, are you moving forward? There's so many cards here about you moving forward. You're getting away from the devil energy, the seven swords energy. You're getting away from it all. Guys, please let me know what's going. Beautiful reading. Have a great Monday. Please comment down below. Uh, exchange energy with me so we can keep you in these readings. Some of you might have already done this. Some of you might be doing it this week. Some of you are about to do it. Everybody's on a different um, schedule. So um, if you're doing this and if you're in the middle of it, good luck. I don't know what it is, but I have feelings that most of you are getting out of really toxic relationships or something. This can apply to any arena. There was nothing here that specified that it had to be love. It can be any arena because really, honestly, there was no love in these cards. So it could go with people who have lost the love in relationships. It could be for people in work or job situations or anything, anything. So keep that in mind. Apply it where it works for you. Um, comment. 
Um, if you like the reading, please give it the thumbs up. Really appreciate that. It helps the channel. Okay, guys, talk to you soon. Have a great Monday. Bye.